Hey everyone, this is Jordan from SleekLens.com and in this video I'm going to show you a good method for dodging and burning in Lightroom. Now this video was suggested via the Facebook exclusive group for SleekLens.com and the person who submitted this, their name is Fabrizia Costa. I hope I got that name right. But thank you for that submit that submission there and let's go ahead and get started and I'll show you how to do this in Lightroom. So what we got here is a nice little field scene with a nice road and everything and I'm just going to do a little bit of dodging and burning. Uh, the edits are all made to this uh, uh, this image uh, so far so uh, all my global edits are done so I'm just gonna go ahead and do some quick dodging and burning and uh, it's really really simple to do that there's a there's a lot of different methods you can do it in Lightroom just like you have a lot of different methods you can do in Photoshop uh, but probably the simplest one and the most effective one that I have found is to do an adjustment brush and that's where all the uh, that's where Lightroom has these brushes that are kind of preloaded and what you can see here right up here a lot of people kind of miss this it has an effect section here and when you click on that you have all these brushes that are that are kind of loaded and you can see that you have a dodge and burn so I'm gonna click darken or do or burn and I get a pre-made brush and the values are all set and you can see it's it's just done a, a third stop darker so when I paint so I paint on this tree here it are, it darkens the tree just a little bit and you can see I'm gonna toggle that on toggle it off so you can see so now all I got to do is just kind of paint along where I want to dodge. I'm just going to do a couple little strokes here, kind of like that. Maybe darken the sky a little bit with a little bit of vignetting just in the sky, that that sort of thing. And if I like how that looks so far, I can kind of just darken it up a little bit if I want to. And I can also play with the other adjustments on here, clarity and all that kind of stuff. So it's basically a, a regular adjustment brush, but it's meant for do, uh, for dodging and burning. So now I want to go ahead and do some dodging here. And so d d before I do anything, I need to click New under here under the uh, the the mask session section. If I if I go ahead and change it to lighten right now, it's going to change everything that I just painted that was that was originally burning. It's going to change it to dodging. So I'm going to go ahead and back and turn that to burn, and I'm going to click New. Go back under the effect click dodge and now I can paint and you can see how it's kind of gradually lighting everything up maybe kind of enhance that fog a little bit uh, and I didn't mean to paint over the tree just with the with the burn so I'm gonna go ahead and lighten that up alright so that is my dodging and burning for this image so now when we toggle this on and toggle it off you can see what the effect does so this is with the dodging and burning ad adjustments made and this is with it off on off so you can just see that's that a little bit of enhancements. It gives it gives a little bit of uh, different variations to the photo where you want variations made. Um, it's a really great way to kind of be your last one of your last steps when you're editing photos. After your global adjustments, go ahead and do some dodging and burning and kind of bring out some some features of the photo that you really want to highlight. So that's the best method I can find in Adobe Lightroom to do some dodging and burning. It's really simple, really easy, and I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Thank you to Fabrizia Costa for the uh, submission again. This is Jordan from SleekLens.com, and I will see you in the next video.